Player 4 broke my heart. I thought I broke your heart. Nah. We stay right. chilling. <laughs> All right, here we are in one of the most patient sets of Xeno. But, you know, Sinji has leveled up, um, you know, a ton. And the question is, you know, can Dill take it this time? I know that he does have a positive record, if I'm not mistaken. Devin, correct me here. Against Sinji's uh, Pac-Man. I wasn't listening. What? Positive record, Dill? Yeah. On this matchup? Okay. Yeah, historically, Dill does come out the victor of these sets. However, it's worth noting that to get to the end of the set is a tried and true battle. Although we are seeing a bit more aggressive play from Sinji. I can very much see this set going for a long time. Just because Dill himself, when he takes out the Sheik, he knows it's because he needs to use his tools to bait out the opponent. He needs to oh, wait out. Sheik is arguably, Dill Sheik is one of the most defensive Sheiks I have ever seen in my life. It is, it's really hard to hit him in the first place because he's just so good at using Sheik's you know, just neutral in general. Like he's he's not even fancy with it. He's just like, okay, this, this is safe. This is not. And it's because of his very good understanding of just frame data in general. And I think that she, uh, she, Shin, Shin, Sinji there you go. needs to, uh, English, hard. Uh, <laughs> Sinji does need to learn how to play around this. But like I said, Sinji has been leveling up. And right now, we're going to see a bit of that. Okay? No, oh, okay. That grab. That grab is booty. But grab his booty, although Sinji has setups on setups on setups to ensure that he can get something out of that grab. Unfortunately, not going to be seeing it just yet. Dill tacking on the damage little bit by little <laughs> bit, and oh, that was the cheekiest Dill kill goodness. I've ever seen. Disgusting. Box. It's all right. Just, yeah, Sinji going to return just, the favor immediately by throwing really the bell just, and up smashing. Wow. I, I, I know Dill has to be mad at that. Like, really, bro? Really? It's all right. But that's the life of Sheik. It's... it's Disrespect returned with interest because <laughs> seeing Dill use the uh, burst grenade, you know, the thing is and he, just the vortex wind out of it, like get, get out of here. He had no, he had no reason not to use it. To be honest, I mean, he was at a safe position. He was like, I can't get punished for this, so why not? All right, so we do see that bit of neutral here. Sinji returning the favor with a nice back air. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop that now. You got your one. Can you get a nice forward air going on. No, <laughs> you stopped that right now. What we're looking at. It's pretty nice, but we use our big boy words here at Zeno. Fine. We're looking at how Sinji's just trying to wall oh out Dill as best God, as he the can. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Getting that Galaga. Well, I see Shift definitely putting in the work for Sinji. Just at least being able to use the fact that it takes a bit before it starts to go into its loop to loop uh, flight pattern. It's not nearly as aggressive as the key per se. But I feel because it takes a little bit slower for it to get there, and it's a lot more consistent as far as what it needs to do, it's a nice bonus for, for Sinji to be rotating for. No, 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 definitely. And right now, you know, we see Sheik at a dangerous percent. You know, I mean, Pac-Man, he gets his... Of course, the smash attack is going to kill. But this is Sinji, so, you know, he doesn't... Sinji not only needs to rely on smash attacks, but this, this dude is a Pac-Man god right now. So he has something He has something in this book. He's charging up the food for a reason. Okay. Oh, this is what I'm talking. What? Yo, I guess it counts. What? So the missed tech Wait, was what? a situation that even Sinji wasn't prepared for. He was expecting a tech and then punishing the tech with the forward smash. But oh. you just missed the tech. I mean, yeah, you're done. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even know if that that was a that was a tech. Like my man just got paralyzed midair and just flew the other way. Yeah. <laughs> he got sent packing. It was. <laughs> I didn't intend for that. Don't, don't. Uh, Alright, you can mute the stream. He's now. here all week. Bye, everybody. He's here all night, folks. <laughs> Game two brings us back to Final Destination. It's going to be a lot more charging. <laughs> Alright. So this, this is the good Final Destination. Alright, we're here. Alright, right, since you already with the key in hand. Okay. I see his E drops right there. At A. Okay. Notice just 50% right off the bat. Alright. Now this is good, Dill, uh, Dill is using the keys as advantage, and he knows that, you know, because of Sheik's needles, he doesn't really have to let go of that key. He can just use it to rack up the damage that he needs. He could be Z-dropping the key and using it as Sinji does. I mentioned this for no, everyone he who, is. who has to play against item-oriented characters in their region. Learn how to use those items to your advantage. Especially if you have a pack main around you, they're going to know what to do with every bonus fruit. And it does help that Sheik's array of B-moves, you know, are also pretty good. You have the you have the grenade for far. You have you have bouncing fish, which is arguably one of the best moves in the game. And you know you have Ninos, which in this case, obviously in this matchup, uh, you know Dill plans to use. But he did lose that key now, and you know we are almost we are right back at even percents. 
Yeah, right. the match staying at a standstill right now because percentages aren't going to really dictate this match unless it gets to like the last 15 uh, yeah. seconds. Yeah, I guess so. But uh, we're not nearly there just yet. We're looking at these minute percentages where... Oh my goodness! If not for being at the very apex of that launch... He would have got it. Yeah, Dill would have been cooked. He would have caught the hands. He would have caught the hands. I guess the fruit. Well, it's a bell. It's not even... It is a no, bonus he caught fruit. The bell. He caught the bell. <laughs> All right. ah. <laughs> okay. All right, nice. You know, nice try landing with that Nair. No, you know, f figuring that if Dill does something, he's just going to try and stuff, stuff it out or at least get the trade. Because whenever you trade with Sheik, it's always, a good, it's always a good thing for the other character. Right. Never really noticed it until now, but it's kind of jarring to see the uh, the pixelated bonus fruits next to the 3D models. Sheik 2018. What that still Dil doesn't connect. Dill did up smash. Dill a Dill's a dummy head. If he Just went for the up smash, it at least would have done something better. But uh, no, no, it, 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 he wasn't dead either way. Just, I mean, yeah, it, it didn't she matter. she can't kill memes aside. No, up that, smash that, isn't a double hit. So I, I mean, he he still wouldn't have died. So it's just like. Forward Smash was his best option in that case. Unfortunately, it just didn't connect. Sheik 2018! No! Can we get another one? <laughs> Listen, if Dill's gonna be doing this forward smash like he really wants to, he's gonna have to go for just the second hit. Or charge long enough to account for the uh, paralyzing to uh, way off. These are the minor factors you have to take into consideration. But if you Wait. just use the melon, the melon has high knockback, and now Pac-Man has been moved to the neighboring stratosphere. Alright, then, you know, with Dill being at 109%, this is the time when Dill has to rack up all the extra credit that he can, because now, now is the time where Sinjo's gonna get kind of desperate. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it's not often that we see the Fire Hydrant connect against and Dill, here. but here we are. Only 7% builds up onto Sinji, and we're looking back at those last stocks. However, in comparison to Game 1, we are past the halfway point on the timer. Not by much, but it is worth noting that if these two take that long to get to this point, we could be looking at a buzzer beater for game two. I think the last time I said that in this situation, since he broke Dill's shield, so let's see, let's see Dill not get shield broken tonight. All right, I, li I like the use of the down tilt just to make the uh, just change the trajectory of that. Uh, hydrant. I was gonna say pumpkin for some reason. A pumpkin. <laughs> it's a pumpkin hydrant. Uh, the pumpkin. <laughs> All right. Nice use of the fair. Pumpkin. All right. Here we go. And Dill is cornering Sinji right now, and he lets me get safe control. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sinji has no problem with being in the corner. He knows how that to set true. that corner up to be a oh, defensive oh, fortress. Oh, Sinji. It's all a matter about if he can maintain the percentage lead because if this is going to end up going to time, El Diablo. doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Why do I speak? Game three. Bring it on. Oh, all right, we do have a game three, boys. And ladies. But, uh, yeah, this set's going a lot faster than I thought it would be. It feels like that. But to the viewers at home, thank you for staying patient. I'm sure you're uh, at least soaking in the info of what you can learn from these two. They have played... Time and time again, Masters in this particular matchup. Yeah, these guys will go to round three. Oh, God. They're especially used to each other's play styles. And while Dill's Sheik certainly oh, isn't up to the level of visionary that Sinji's Pac-Man is, the fact that Dill plays so consistently as Sheik against such a creative Pac-Man at least goes to show that the Dill tools will always be there for Sheik to... Uh, at least stay with an upper hand above Pac. -Man. Does she? Does he use Pac -Man cheek for anyone else? I don't think he does. He does occasionally. Like, 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 like if he wants a player, I feel like he does, but I, I don't. I, I think I think this is it. <laughs> yeah, no. Sinji and his Pac Man are definitely the only like frame one cheek pick. Dill does, uh, like, as far as sets are concerned. Normally, she comes out as a matter of counter pick, but. It's right out the uh, the gate in this case. Right, I like the wall jump, avoiding the the, the, the second snapback on the ledge. All right, Dill kind of coming in with the, with the aggressive bouncing fish right now. <laughs> Drop that. Oh, all right. Okay. Come down with an apple just to clear the ledge, be able to uh, get a little bit of a defense going with the fire hydrant in place. I always like commentating sets like, like, with, with the emotion that they are, that they actually have in them. Just like right now, we see the wild pack that get up at. He's coming down with the bell. Oh, but the wild cheek just misses the bench. Gets the grab. 
Wait for the fan. Misses. Oh, it gets hit with the pumpkin. Yeah, the tone of the match definitely taking itself a bit wow. more. Wow. Wow. So smart by Sinji. Uh, he did preemptively throw it Yeah, out. Mensa level five. Like, I'm actually impressed that Dill fell for that trap. It's one of those so obvious you can't believe it works kind of deals. But it worked, lo and behold, and Sinji taking a relatively early lead in this set. Yep, and this is when, this is one of the, uh, one of the times when Cheek does struggle. And Dill can't seem to find a kill right now. And Sinji's just kind of going to rack up this percent. All right, slowly but surely. Not going to be able to connect with the orange bonus fruit. However, Sinji is going to maintain a little bit of the pressure game up. Just trying to do oh, everything. Oh, that shield, Dill. Be careful. Uh, Dill learned his lesson this time. He's not going to be chilling in shield much longer. Trying to maintain that melon on the charge. Doesn't want to particularly go for, uh, for Key just yet. However, it's the Galaxian that's going to be coming out. Unable to get an extension out of it. However, the percentage is very slowly building up onto Dill. While Dill's struggling a bit to get this kill. I mean, 50% is when Sheik wants... Like, if, if you're a Sheik player, you don't... You want to, like, get the stock when you're at when you're at 50% or below. Because that's when the, you have all the rage that you need. And unfortunately, the up smash not getting it right now. That apple is coming from left field, literally. Not going to be able to do much, though. Just got awareness on Dill to be able to catch it from out deep, but... Okay. <laughs> Things looking dire for Dill. He's able to come down with a forward air, but Sinji's still staying alive. Sitting at 169. Forward air at the ledge. Popping him up. Oh, no, Dill, not like this. No, he's, he's good. He's good. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the drag down up air. I would be terrified if I saw a Pac-Man drag down. No, 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 Sheik. Wait, wait, what? No, oh. that's not a thing. Okay, cool. Listen, I, I was like, listen, I don't think it is. We there, have to ask Sinji after this match. That, there's definitely some shenanigans you have to account for. And, and, oh, oh, okay, okay. Just yeah. throws the apple right in his face. Like, no, I'm done with this. Take this fruit and get out of my face. All right, now Dill's gonna have to play a very, very patient game. Not, not able to get hit by Sinji. Oh, good Gandhi. I actually like that Sinji didn't go for the kill right there. He knew that the percentages weren't right. He didn't want to stale out any of his options. Especially as panic time is going to be setting in soon enough. Now the thing is that the longer Sinji waits, the longer Dill does rack up damage on him as well. So that's something that he definitely has to be mindful of. All right. Dill just you know, being careful to approach right here. Oh! Okay. Yo, he's just going to do it. All right. He's just going to uh, throw it out. Oh, such a good bait. Knowing that Dill wanted to grab the fruit and just throwing that uh, hydrant in his face. Percentage lead sitting heavily oh, into oh, Sinji's hey. favor, but he's not going to have to need it. We take apples those apples come down. Out. We take those apples out. And Sen is going to go to Sinji. The count of 2-1.